Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to go over what is WooCommerce. WooCommerce is actually an e-commerce plugin for WordPress. For those of you that are hearing about WordPress for the very first time, WordPress is actually a very popular CMS content management system that is used by many people and companies around the world. For example, there are many popular sites such as Rolling Stones, PlayStation and eBay that use WordPress. WordPress is actually highly customizable and there are a bunch of themes and plugins available for it. It's really amazing what you can do with WordPress. So WooCommerce is actually a plugin that runs within WordPress and what it does is it actually lets you build an online store. This online store would actually be free. So uh, in other words, uh, you wouldn't pay a monthly fee for using the software and you wouldn't pay a commission on sales that you make in your store. Of course, you would have to get a hosting uh, account so that you can host uh, your site and you need to get a domain and I would recommend an SSL certificate but other than that you really don't need anything else and once you build your store it would look something like this keep in mind that you can actually change the look of your store by installing a new theme and later on in the video I will actually show you some of the themes that you can install and how to get them in addition to that I even have a video that shows you how to build the WooCommerce powered store in less than an hour but before I do that, let me show you the kind of items that you can actually list in WooCommerce. For example, you can list simple products, variable products, group products, downloadable products, and virtual products as well. A simple product would actually look something like this. It's actually called a simple product because all it has is an add to cart button and it ships by mail. And then there are attributes here which you can add. For example, you can add the weight of the item, the color, and other information that you'd like to add. People can also leave reviews for the item. Now if we go back to shop, we can actually look at another item here, which is a variable item, which actually lets you choose a size. In addition to size, you can even add attributes such as color or style. For example, right here, I have a t-shirt that I added, where you can actually choose the color black and as you can see each color can actually have its own price and then there are also downloadable items such as this which I have grouped together so that people can actually choose which track they'd like to download as for virtual products virtual products are actually very similar to simple products with the exception that they don't ship so say for example you're a general contractor or are offering a cleaning service or an online based service such as search engine marketing or blogging you can actually sell that service in your store and then later deliver that service virtually or in person in addition to choosing which type of products are listed in your store you can also choose where certain links are displayed you can also have a search engine box shown in your store so that people can find things quickly and easily there are also things such as drop down menus where people can actually sort the items based on their criteria. You can even add categories and subcategories. You can add price filters. You can also add other filters such as attribute filters which filter by color or you can add a style here and filter by that style. You can also specify your currency for the store. You can specify your shipping methods, tax configuration and much much more. For example, if we were to add an item to our cart and then view our cart, we can see how all this works. For example, as you can see here, I have different shipping rates set up and different shipping methods. I also have tax here, which for example, I only set up for Florida. And as you can see, the tax is added. But if someone from a different state were to check out, they wouldn't pay tax. And then I also set up my store so that people in Canada can purchase. And when they do, they actually get an international delivery shipping rate. And note that you can actually limit to any countries that you'd like. For example, if you only want to sell within the United States, you can specify only United States. If you only want to sell to the United States, Canada, and let's say uh, Mexico, you can specify that as well. And if you want to ship everywhere, you can also do that. 
And then there's also a way to generate coupons so that your customers can use them later on and get discounts on their order. And then when we go to check out, you will see that my pages are secured by the SSL certificate that I purchased for my store. For example, if you look at the URL, you will see that the HTTP protocol has changed to HTTPS, which means that all pages here are secured by my SSL certificate. The store is also search engine friendly because you can actually choose to use URL rewrites in the URLs. And you can actually do all this in your admin panel here. And earlier I mentioned how you can install different themes on my site. I actually have a list of free themes. As well as premium themes that you can add. And then after installing the theme through your admin panel, you can customize the theme. and specify what shows up where. For example, we can add the cart, product categories, price filter, attributes filter, and more. And when we list products, we simply go here and click add product. And we simply choose our product type enter in a description, choose a category, add an image, choose attributes if we'd like, and simply publish. And our item goes up live on our site and people can purchase this item from our store. So for more information on that, simply take a look at the link in the description of this video, where you can actually see my other video on how to create a store such as this one. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to introduce WooCommerce to you. I hope you'll have as much fun creating your store as I did creating mine, and I wish you all the best. Again, thanks for watching.